Word Association here, Maryland. When you hear the word Maryland or Maryland across, what comes to mind as related to SU? Oh, I, I, I coached at Maryland for a long time, so, you know, that certainly brings back a lot of memories anytime I think of Maryland. And, and I uh, spent nine years there, and, uh, you know, it was a great, you know, it's a school of great lacrosse tradition. And uh, when I think Syracuse, I remember coaching uh, against Syracuse mm -hmm. in the first ever game that the program ever played. Um, it was, uh, was assistant at Maryland. I was assistant yeah. at Maryland, and we played uh, Syracuse, and it was 1998, and it was the program's first game. And um, hmm. so I, I was around for the first game of the program way back then. But uh, uh, just great tradition, um, just an excellent program when I think about Maryland. You know, it, it's what everybody strives to be and what we're trying to, to a level we're trying to get to. And, uh, you know, we're always excited to have a chance to play them. But obviously, since coming over, you've wanted to beat them. I think you're one and eight against them. Some tough losses. What do you think that you also think of certain standards of excellence? I'm sure when you think of them, um, what do, is it frustration? Are you, are you, do you feel like you're right there with them? Is it? Do you, do you, you know what? You could ask any team in the country the same thing <laughs> because uh, I don't think anybody has their number, and uh, you know that's why they've won the last couple national championships, three out of the last four. They're just, they're just that good, and they reload every year, and, and you know, we're trying to get to that level, and, and I think, um, you know, that's why we play, and we, we've been close, and with them, you know, a goal or two every every year, we're, we're there, we just got to take that next step and develop some um, confidence and, and really try and make some plays when we need to to get over the hump. The last two postseasons, two semifinals and the final in between, right? So Three years in a row they've ended our season. So oh, you know that. We're very aware of it. <laughs> uh, very aware. You know, they, they, they've just been a, you know, a great team. And we're just lucky to have another shot at it. You know? it, it, it would be tough if we didn't get to play them during the regular season to have that job. But we're thrilled and uh, we're, we're happy to have them here in the dump. Coach, how would you evaluate Allie Murray's performance in goal this season? Uh, Allie's been great. You know, it's been up and down. You know, she's had some great, some great uh, times where she played unbelievable. I, I look at her last game against Virginia. She ended up over 500, but I didn't get a save till 19 minutes left in the game. And uh, then she comes out with seven saves and, and above a 500 save percentage, and that's what we asked for. And she ended up getting it done. And uh, so it's it's been a kind of a mix of, of she's on, she's off a little. And we're just trying to get some of that consistency going, uh, game, in, game in and game out. And as far as the, the defense in front of um, her, you know, what have you been seeing from that way? I, th I think they've been playing pretty well. I think their defense has been strong. Um, you know, I think they're pretty focused and dialed in. They have great game plans against their opponents. And, um, you know, it's been a great year for them so far. I think they've, they've improved. Um, probably the most so far this year, uh, you know, with the, with the last year, the consistency and, and uh, what they bring has is, is been key to our success this year. And game one to now, you know, what have you seen them improve on most? You know, it, our defense, it, it's about communication, it's about understanding the defense, and I think they're just really starting to get it and, and dial it in. So um, I'm just looking for them to get better and better as we go. Anyone in particular standing out? Well, I, I, I love, uh, you know, what um, Razowitz has done coming in. She's done disaster shutoff play. She's done that disaster play, clear the ball, and, and she's been great. And our veterans have been um, really good with Bihar. And we're now, in, you know, kind of holding our defense in there with Kaylee O'Connor. They just, they just, they've been doing it now for a couple of years, and I think you're starting to see the results of working together. Cummings is the gold standard, obviously, in current lacrosse. You mentioned your defense and, and how well they played. Uh, what, what can you say about that matchup and what you might have in store to kind of slow her down? Uh, well, she always seems to bring her best against us, and I, and I think we'll see that again. Um, you know, I think uh, much like Kayla Trainer, when we talk about that, a uh, couple of the best players in the country uh, last few years, and. Anytime they play each other, they get excited to play and try to bring it, bring their games to the next level. And that's what we always get out of her. And uh, we're just going to be ready to, to, you know, try and stop her from getting the net. You know, if we need to double or send extra help, we'll do that. And uh, it should be fun to watch.